Hi there, my name is Kali Boss, hmm? the only boss with one S. Happy new month to all of you. Welcome to a month of new possibilities. why life has been made so easy it's because of tap tap send people tap tap send is here to make your life easy if you want to transfer money to ghana if you want to transfer from usa if you want to transfer from uk europe canada a lot of places all to ghana and guess what when it comes to ghana there's no e-levy charge so what are you waiting for Download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store and App Store and be ready for exciting offers coming your way each time, every time on Tap Tap Send. Tap Tap Send. Send more, spend less. Hello guys, welcome to SVTV Africa. My name is Dolores, and today I have with me Bonnie, uh, straight from the Caribbean, and we are about to go have a chat with them. So what we're here is uh, how life in the Caribbean is, and all that comes with it. So let's go straight to him, and let's get to know him better. Hello, Bonnie. If you can hear me, how are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, D. Nice to meet you. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you too. But I'm sure Bonnie is not your own name, it's a stage name. So let's go straight to your full name. My full name is um Patrick Boniface. So uh, so Boniface is my last name, and as you can see, is my still my artist name. You know, oh, okay. it just spelled it just spelled different, but it's the same pronunciation. Okay. Uh, so which country are you? Right now, I'm in the Caribbean. is a, is a little island, 37 square mile. You know, it's a small island, Saint Martin, called Saint Martin. A beautiful island called Saint Martin. That's where I'm at right now. Okay. okay. Uh, before I ask you how life in the Caribbean and the islanders, uh, were you born and bred there? No, actually, I was born in Haiti, Port Prince. I raised up in Saint Martin. I did my schooling in Saint Martin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we hear a lot of things that people who are usually out um, don't go to school much. So you said you go, went to school. To so which level did you stop? Did you go to the college and everything? No, I didn't actually go to college. Um, I was studying business because my school, it was a business school. So I actually okay. was studying business in that, you know, in, in, um, in high school. Okay. Yeah. So did you work with, uh, did you work with it before? You done it music? Yeah, yeah, I do work with it. Yeah, you okay. know, I do um a sale person as a sale person. You know, that's what I did. Okay, is that what you've always was always wanted to do growing up? Yeah, music has always been my um always been my my dream, my goal. You know, since I was since I was young, since I started like I was fifteen years old when I started music. You know, and I used to love to perform in school. You know, I love to do, I love to do karaoke, but music is one of the things that is in the blood, you know, is in the family. Okay. But why did you pursue a business if you always wanted to do music? You could have chosen arts and crafts or something. Yeah, we actually did art and craft in school. You know, okay. that was, that was my, my main favorite subject, you know, but mm -hmm. right now I'm doing only music. So nothing else. Okay. Let's talk about your parents. Are they still alive? Did they move with you to from Haiti to the Caribbean? No, I basically um not not traveling as yet. I'm still here, you know, working with producers, doing beats and doing doing more music. So I have so I know I have content that ready to be shared to the world. Okay. So yeah. where are your siblings, your parents and all? My si my siblings are here with me. I got my brother, my little brother, and my sister, and uh, my mom here here is here with me. Just that my father is not here with me. Uh, paint a picture yeah. to us. We 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 are in Africa, so paint a picture to us. How is life uh, on the island like? Well, the island of Saint Martin is, you know, it, it's good because we have tourists that visit the island. You know, we have carnival, we have a lot of partying, you know, 
the food is good. We, you know, our favorite um, food is Johnny Cake. You know. Okay. Yeah. And then, like, know, yeah, rice. Johnny Cake. Yeah, Johnny Cake. We have um, we have Chinese restaurant. We are, we have is a is a whole mix. We have the Haitians. We have the Spanish. You know, is we have the Indians. Is a whole mix. You know, it's a okay. whole mixed country. Yeah. Do you have Africans as well? Yes, we do. I met one Nigerian before, and she okay. she have um her business in Saint Martin. Yeah. Okay, but then there there are not a lot of blacks there. Yeah, we have a lot of. We have. We do. Okay. In the African countries have you been uh, here before? No. Have you seen our uh, some blogs and all that? So. Um, yeah. Hence my question. Um, I never been to to the Africans like Nigeria, but I want to visit Nigeria and and, and Ghana. You know, okay. um, the blogs that you see is um is the medias I reach out to the journalists and they put me in the blogs. They they're supportive. You know, they're supporting my my song. They like my music, and they want to give me the love. You know, that's that's what I appreciate about Nigerian. They really supportive. You guys are amazing. Okay. But I'm not Nigerian though. Oh you're Africa, right? You're trying to flatter me and I caught you there. So <laughs> yes, we are all Africans though, but I'm from Ghana. We are talking here. Currently in Ghana and speaking to you. Oh that's great. Okay, Ghana. Okay. <laughs> So apart from Ghana and Nigeria, which other African country have you heard about? Uh, I think I heard about Cameroon, something like that, right? Okay. Name three more. No, I don't know the rest. <laughs> 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 so just four. We have a lot more, more than that. Wow. So I need to look into yeah. it. Before you started contacting, you know, Africans and being in touch with them, what's, what are some of the misconceptions you heard? about africa um well i heard a lot uh, about africans um i know i'm part of africans you know mm -hmm. is uh my ancestors part of africans so i'm african i'm proud to say i'm africans um i like the culture because the dance the music um the food you guys there's something you guys just eat um that made that made with yam Okay. Yeah, it's, that's something. Um, because I like to watch um African movies, right, on YouTube, and I saw mm -hmm. you guys those, the, eat the thing with the yam. I I think is what the name again? I forgot. Uh, I think uh, if I eat in Nigeria, they have pounded yam. Yeah. So I heard about that. Yeah, and Africa is rich. You know, Africa is not poor. Africa is rich with gold. You know. Is is a is a African like have millions of people that live in it. It's like the the population is wide, so to speak. Okay, so that's all you know about Africans. Yeah, yeah. And the misconceptions. I know people say they hear Africans are usually naked; they don't wear clothes. Did you hear anything like that sort of when you were growing up? No. For so far, what I'm been seeing, African people are natural. Mm -hmm. You know, the hair is natural. You know, they, they keep it culture. You know, they they never change their style. You know, that's what I like about Africa. They never change their style. They always keep it natural. But to the naked part, I never heard about that. Okay. But yeah. let's talk about life on the island. Uh, you said there are a lot of Africans there and all that. Are there job opportunities there as well? Do people come there to seek for jobs? Yeah, they have people that come here um, to work. You know, um, we got like business people. We have students, you know, that came to that came here to study, uh -huh. like the medical students. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what sort of jobs are there? We have all kind of jobs. Like, we got a restaurant. If you want to be a doctor, we got nurse. We got like administrators. We got the banks. You know, we have we have everything in the island that you see in the world. So how big is this island in the first place? Because it's not quite popular. Or when you sent me the name, I had to go Google it and uh, Saint Martin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, it's thirty. Uh, mm -hmm. It's thirty-seven square miles. You can okay. look it up. 
Yeah, it's not and, that it's not that huge, you know. Yeah. And yeah. what about the population? Um I think it was seventy five K. Okay. You know, I'm just saying that around that no around that number, but I have to look again. But what is your island mainly known for? The music. You know, okay. St. Martin, we love soca music. You know, mm -hmm. the carnival, the people are friendly. That's one thing. Uh, make it special. You know, the people here is friendly. Um, also, the food, we just we just have different mixed people in the island, like Haitian culture, you know. It's just a whole mix. So that what make it special. Okay. What about the cost of living on the island? Because you mentioned earlier, a lot of tourists come in. Does it affect the cost of living or it only affects those coming in uh, for tourism? The cost of living, I would be honest, is not really that high, you know. Okay. But, yeah, things here are getting busy. The tourists are coming constantly. And, you know, you, do, you, you have a job, you, you, could, you could live, you know. You could, you you will have money to buy food. You have money to pay your rent. You know, it's deep in what type of job you're doing. You know. Okay. How easy is it for uh, a foreigner, like say an African, to come to um, the island? And say, I want to live here. I want to start life here. Are they receptive enough for, for people like that? If you have a profession, mm -hmm. you can. You know, if you have a profession, then there is there is a, a, a spot for you there that you know that's what you want to do. You know, okay. there if if you want to work in a bank, if you have experience with uh, with business, you know, there's a lot of things that it's just that you have to have a profession. If you have that, then you could live there. You know, but if you want, you could you could come to visit and, and you live. Okay. Uh, I want. I still want you to paint a picture. Is it uh, because it's an island? Is it usually cold or it's always sunny and all that there? The weather here is funny. It's like sometimes it's rainy and sometimes it's sunny. You know, it's not. It's not cold. You know, Saint Martin is not cold. It's a hot country. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. But it's a warm, warm country. You know, we got the beaches. You know, the sun is pretty, pretty high. In St. Martin. Okay. Now that you've painted the picture for us, let's go into uh, your career, your music. Uh, how long have you been into music? Um, been into music like I can see for my my entire life. <laughs> you know, right now I'm 27 years old. I started actually age 15. I started to like doing karaoke singing. Then after that, from 16, 17, 18. I start going to the studio and record and record myself. You know, around that age, but right now I'm 27, so I've been I've been oh. I've been doing music for a while, and right now I'm just working my my career so I can make it to the top. Okay. Yeah. So when I get to the island and I mention your name, or if I don't even mention your name, what music are you known for? The music I known for is Bestie. I think it's, okay, cool. I have emotion on Bestie. Yeah, I got. Because I also do Zouk too and Compa. That's like my um my country style of music. Zouk, I thought I think you know about that time. Zouk. Yeah, so they know me for for doing that style. And after I, I recently come into the Afro vibe, you know. But they know me for bestie, like you know, bestie really um known over there. Before you give me a freestyle on that, on the island. What's your main language there? Because I could say, is the English a fluent thing or you have your own language? The main language in St. Martin is mm -hmm. Dutch in the okay. because it's a Dutch country. Yeah. So it's Dutch and English and French. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's well, Dutch and French because it's Dutch and French because it's part of the Netherlands and France. Okay. Yeah. But uh, give me a first start on the music you said you are known for. Then you jump next to the next question. You more than my bestie. Love has no limitation. You know you impress me. 
There is no hesitation. Do you wanna move my way? Tell me if you wanna stay. You're more than my bestie. Oh, friendship is okay. But I know that you like me. When you come in a Friday, are you feeling kind of naughty? Baby, you are always so reserved. Please don't listen to the things you heard. If we're looking for a future, let me give it to you. Love in the making. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Okay, that was nice. So, um, since we started this music, have you had any major shows that you've been on? Um, yeah, we I had a couple uh, like showcase, you know. Um, but the thing is, uh, sometimes if if I don't really get booking much into the market, like for like big concert, because I don't have a manager, and it's me managing my music, and sometimes I probably not hearing that they have a concert coming out or probably like I probably lit they when, once I reach out to them they fill out so you know I have to get like a management who have to be the heads of that for me who have to be okay hey I have this artist I want you guys to put this artist in the show you know as I say they have different style of music like soca if they are if they have a soca concert uh, I don't think they will put me as an Afro artist because right now they look at me as an Afro artist, a zook. You know, so... And the Afro, that, uh, Afro thing is not popular there yet. We, what? Yes, it is. Okay. We had, we had Bono Boy had to come St. Martin. He ha he did come. Okay. I was about to ask, uh, yeah. there been African popular artists who haven't been there yet. And who is the most played artist, African Artists who, whose music you hear often there. I hear Bono Boy. Okay. I hear Omale. I hear Wizkid. I hear Ruga. I hear Camino. Camino, shout out to you. <laughs> Yo, I hear okay. all. Camino from Ghana. So. So he's the only Ghanaian artist you know of, or whose Camido, music is there? Yeah, I yes. think. Yeah, I think Camino is the only Ghana artist that Saint Martin probably know that he okay. plays music. Oh, girl, I wanna be with you. Da, 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 da. So that song they play a lot in Saint Martin. Okay, and we are going to come here. You guys are going to hear all about Ghanaian music because we have a lot more in stock. So you haven't heard of our world-renowned artists like Sakodie, Stone Boy, Shatawale, and all that. Oh, Stone Boy, yes. I heard Stone Boy before. So you haven't, apart from Camilo and Stone Boy, you haven't heard of any Ghanaian artist? No. Only Stone Boy and Camilo. That's interesting. So I guess if I ask uh, which African artist you want to feature on, or Ghanaian artist you want to feature, you're going to say Camilo. Yes. Okay. What about Nigerian? Well, I have a lot. <laughs> um, I want to feature... I want to feature Omale. Okay. Yeah, I like I like his I like his flow his style. You know, I want to feature him and Fireboy as well too. You know, you could put me with Rima, Fireboy, Omale. <laughs> okay, well that's interesting. But let's go back to your music career. But what do you think Ghanaian artists are doing wrong? You know, that's why they are not being heard out there as much as Nigerians are being heard out there. Um. I think it's the probably the marketing team, you know, probably the you know the Ghana the Ghana artists need a stronger stronger marketing team, you know, because so far like from from Harry Camino, he have a strong team, okay. you know, from from that song that he did really sugar cane, you know, that was making hits in Saint Martin like all over, you know, so he had a strong marketing team, so uh, okay. for like. For for the Ghana artists to um to to take over the world right now, they have they have to invest in a in a powerful marketing team. Or okay. or they can do feature, you know, with Nigerian artists. They've already been doing that. No, they're doing that. Yes, they yeah. are. Well, probably probably I heard them, and I doesn't I don't know they from Ghana. 
<laughs> but then why the sudden need to into the African music uh face? Because I've seen I've been seeing you on blogs and all that. Uh, and if, since you are not all known there out there, why uh is why not focusing on getting so popular out there than you wanted to get popular in Africa? What's the end game? I want to get popular out there, you know, but you want to get popular out here than there? No, I won't get popular more in Nigeria because like it's simple. If I have a stronger audience in Ghana or, or Nigeria, as in mm -hmm. Afro artists, mm -hmm. the world will know me. The world will know me, yeah. you know. It's just that I need to build an audience. If I have a strong fan base in Nigeria or Ghana, I can go there and perform. I can get books over there because um, you guys, we, you guys, the music come from there. So I have to respect the culture. You know, I have to promote. Yeah. I have to promote the, my music where the music came from. You know, I can also I can also promote my music in the UK. You know, but if I if I get the opportunity to to make it probably in Nigeria or Ghana, why not? Do you pay these blogs to to uh, post you to promote you? Um, not all. You know, not all blogs that um that are, um ask me for payment because some blogs do, but like with the recent ones that I've been featured on, I reach out to them and they listen to my song and they want to give me the love and they publish me in the blogs. You know. Um, okay. Right. So, yeah. what's the highest amount you've paid to be uh, to be on a blog? I probably pay like eighty five dollar US dollar. You know, one hundred fifty, two hundred dollar. So the highest you paid is two hundred dollars to be uh, featured. Yeah. Yes. Uh, have you been making money from music so far? I'm not making any big amount of money, but I've been getting royalties. You know, it's not it's not that enough to invest in music. Okay. So, so like. Uh, okay, so I could say since you started music, you haven't like gained anything, or you've not done anything for something. Like I got this from my music. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten any big cash from my music because I don't have the much much streams on my music. You know. Okay. So that's why it's it's kind of difficult sometimes to um like if I reach to a blog, and they ask me for payment, like it's not really that easy for me to um to pay unless like um I work in and then I can invest or probably like I get an investor who can support okay. me on that because music is very expensive, you know, okay. very expensive. Music is not cheap at all. Music is not cheap. So, like, all the money you get, you, you get to invest it back and not make much in return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the jobs I did, I, like, I used that money I invested in music. Because as an artist, you invest it to, for recording, right? You invest it for music video, and then you have to invest for promotion. And then now you're not getting no money back because you're not, you don't have enough stream, you know, enough sales on your song. Like labels doesn't want artists with uh with no numbers to work with. They like they rather use an artist that like they don't based on talent anymore. You know, mm -hmm. like if 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 a, if a record label see an artist doing well, like he's, he can say he have talent, the label doesn't care about that. They just want you to build your numbers, to build your streams up, and then then they will find you. And that's that's unfair. <laughs> Uh, are you dating? Uh, are you seeing anyone? Uh, is the music uh, or ladies are just coming in just because you're a musician now and you are being put out there? I think I'm dating my music. Do you think you're dating your music? <laughs> yes, I don't have like I don't have no woman as yet, but in the future, time will come. What is in my mind right now is to make the dollar. You know, feel me? Is to make money. That's in my mind. You know, okay, okay. you ladies reach out to me, you know. Oh, right okay. And how do you handle that? Do you just say, oh, thank you, I move on, or you take advantage of it? Ah, thank you, I move on. 
Okay, so it says that they post, uh, since you've been posted on these uh, African blogs, do some of them um, approach you? you be like, I want to marry you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got a few. <laughs> they do? Yeah, I, yeah, I talk, I talk with you know, a few of them on that. Like, they like me, you know, they like my vibe. You know, we, we, we video call, you know, get to know each other more. They are sweet. <laughs> Uh, some say they want to marry you. Yeah. Well, how do they say it? I, I, I want to understand. Well, like, they they like, okay, you're a nice guy. Because we talked before, you know, they because when they talk to me on, on Instagram, I reply. And oh, they, okay. get my, they get my probably my contact. And, and then from there, we get to know each other. Like, hey, you're a nice guy. You're sweet. You know, you're, you're, you can sing, you know. I, you know I, would like, I would like to be your girl. <laughs> You know, I need a I need a good man in my life. That's what they say to me. I need a good man. Before I wrap up, let me ask you: uh, which platforms your music uh, your music is on that people could look out for your social media handles? Um, you guys can check my music on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Um, also Audio Mac. You know, on all platforms. You guys can um can can look out for me and stream yeah. my music and share and, and buy it. The most important thing is buy the song and share the song. Also TikTok. You guys can use my song, Bestie, TikTok Pon It. That's my my I release a song with Universal Africa. I don't know, I don't think you know that. Because yeah. I got because I got a distribution deal with Universal Africa. So I released two singles with them, you know. So you guys can use my song on TikTok, do challenges, do trends. You know, let's get the words out there. Bonnie, thank you so much for having a chat with me on SVTV Africa today. You're welcome, and thanks for having me, guys. Ghana, I love you. Thanks for watching me. You know, keep supporting Bonnie Fast. It's, you know, 2023 is my year. Let's get it. Okay. Appreciate Bye. it for having me <laughs> on the team. You're welcome. So, guys, that was Bonnie uh, all the way from uh, St. Martin's in the Caribbean. I hope you guys enjoyed my chat with them. More to come your way on SVTV Africa. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My name is Dolores, and see you soon.